Justine Mariano, without question one of the best defenders of the Philippine women's floorball team. With her toughness and sharp instincts, she's achieved massive success in the Philippine Floorball League and a respectable finish in the 2018 Asia Oceana Floorball Cup. Aristeo Perol the second junior, the dynamic 22-year-old forward of the Philippine men's floorball team, having won an under-17 title and MVP trophy plus a bronze medal at the 2019 Asia Oceana Floorball Cup, Aristeo clearly plays a crucial role for the national squad. We are being joined by Aries and Justine, of course, members of our national floorball team. Uh, okay, una una, looking at the sport, at the setup natin dito, it really looks like hockey, pero ice hockey, pero walang ice. Apart from that, what are the biggest differences from ice hockey and it was a sport knowing floorball? Because just just by looking at the cutting tools, nyo, eh, it, it looks like something that could belong in a hockey ring. Uh, Justine. Um, so, sa floorball, yung bola namin is a plastic na hollow ball. Like sa hockey, may, yung puck nila medyo dense. And then, mas continuous din yung game ng hockey kasi di ba merong harang yung court nila. Pero dito, yung bola, posible siyang mag-go over the ring. And then, mas focus din sa running yung sport kasi pag nag-skate ka, parang iba yung dynamic ng movement kaysa pag tumatakbo. I mean, obviously, there's no fighting. I don't see any armor. I don't see any, you know, that kind of thing. But would you say that there's more of an emphasis on speed and maneuverability since, uh, you know, you're a lot lighter, essentially, and uh, it's a lot easier to get from place to place? Well, yes, honestly, because the yung friction ng um, sapatos is much, um, kumbaga, kumakapit, you know? uh, So it focuses more on the running, Footworks, unlike in um, hockey, there's like sway movement, so may momentum. Dito, um, you get to stop from time to time, stay in place, so parang ganun. There are actually a lot of schools here in the country na may floorball team. And can you tell us a bit more about yung state ng sport dito sa Pilipinas, uh, kung ilan team yun nandun, kung ilan talaga naglalaro, and uh, basically, kung saan kayo, kung saan kayo nakakuha ng pool for the national team, this team? Um, currently, yung sa Philippine Floorball League, participated siya by five teams. Mga tatlo doon, school-based, like UP, De La Salle, um, Zobel, and then yung University of Makati. Tapos ngayon, in-introduce din siya sa mga mas mabatang uh, people like Ateneo, Miriam, John Dewey, School for the Gifted, um, as well as yung mga public schools like sa Quezon City High School. So, Aries, uh... Now that we know a little bit more about how the Philippine team sort of got established, what's your competition, like internationally? Like what kind of countries uh, sort of have an emphasis on floorball as well and who you guys compete against? Um, you, uh, the strongest team that we have competed with is uh, Thailand because they've been playing and floorball has been around in their country for around 25 years already. So um, now Thailand is also catching up. Um, getting uh, players from different countries as well who has more experience in floorball. So I guess sila yung mga mga malalakas talaga dito sa Asia. So isa na rin yung Japan and Korea since um, developing countries din. But how long has floorball been in the Philippines? I think uh, around 10 years already. 10 so years. before um, it was introduced here in 2001 but Hindi siya masyadong na-develop, hindi napansin yung sport. So, yun, um, yung president namin, siya yung nag-continue nung floorball nung 2010. So, when did you guys get involved with floorball? Um, ako, I, uh, I started playing in 2013. Uh, me, I started, started playing in my school uh, when it was 2014. 2014, and uh, we were talking a while ago, you're 18 now. So you started playing around 14 years. You've been playing this sport basically for a quarter of your life. And just for those who are curious about the sport, how would you encourage them to try out floorball? And uh, what do you think is the biggest selling point of well, the sport? Well, um, the biggest factor that you don't really have to consider when playing floorball is your height. So. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, really. So speed, agility, mobility is the basically what you need for floorball. They don't really have to concern themselves with the height, you know, like in basketball maybe. Okay. Yeah, no, actually I was going to say, um, 
it's sounding more and more less like actual hockey and more like basketball, where everyone's a point guard. <laughs> you know what maybe, I mean? Maybe, maybe. Okay, how about you, Justina? How would you encourage people to come in and try out the sport? Aside from the height, I think yung sa age din, hindi, hindi siya masyado nagmamatter as of now in the Philippines kasi nasa, medyo introductory period pa rin siya. So anyone can try and catch up uh, with the learning. So hindi, hindi ka parang sobrang behind na kailangan mong gumaling agad. 